Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page. Today we're looking at the week of February the 14th to the 20th, 2022 for all star signs. Now, remember that on the 16th, which is obviously the Wednesday of this very week, we have a full moon. The energy will always change around the full moon in a couple of days after. With a little luck, I shall be recording a uh, dedicated video just for the full moon, which is called the snow moon in February. Um, because sometimes there's just so much happening because of the full moon um, that it makes no sense to, to literally put this in this uh, video. And um, <clears throat> here's to hope um, that um, I will have the time to actually record um, a full moon um, video just for the February full moon. Anyway, so like I said, we're looking at the week of uh, February the 14th to the 20th. We're in Aquarius and on the 19th is the last day of Aquarius. So by Sunday, the last day of this week, obviously, we are moving into Pisces. So that energy, the transitional energy of Aquarius to Pisces <clears throat> can also be felt, you know, a couple of days, uh, two or three days prior to us being in Pisces. Anyway, we're in Aquarius, uh, but before we go and look at the individual star signs, we're looking at the overall energy that affects all of us for this very week. And one last time, we're looking at the week of February the 14th to the 20th. And no, I've got nothing to say with regards to <laughs> um, Valentine's Day, right? <clears throat> so, um, yeah. Are you ready? Let's have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead. Here we go. We have the tiger, the deer and the crow. What the guides are saying to us this very week, we have to remember that we have a lot of stamina and remember your self-worth at all times, no matter what life throws at you this week, always remember your values, your core values, and remember how strong you are. Um, because the tiger is um, all about stamina. Um, but literally what they're saying is, you know, stay in your power, right? Um, just make sure that whatever people have to say about you is their opinion. Opinion is not a fact or truth. It is just an opinion. And you just have to stay tall, right? Because our middle animal is the deer. You know, the deer is saying, this is the very, this very week, this is a week for all of us to do things, not at, a, at half pace, if that makes sense, but, um, but calmer, which is why the tiger came in earlier, saying like, you know, no matter what happens this week, no matter what opinions other people may have, um, you know better, right? <clears throat> and so the deer is the animal in the middle, which means it makes it the most important for the overall energy. Uh, the message clearly is um, to not allow anyone to stress us, right? And, um, and also, not to be super bothered by whatever it is other people are saying. So what I'm getting this week, as you can already feel here, there's a lot of judgment uh, coming this week. <clears throat> and the outgoing energy that we're having is the crow. And the crow is the animal of transformation and change. So the very fact that this week for... Uh, most of us, I suppose, um, there is some judgment and, you know, and, and people are maybe, you know, maybe, maybe the nasty side comes out. The reason why this is happening, because we are going through a, a transition, transitional phase this week. And when people object for no apparent reason, maybe we shouldn't have them in our lives. Okay, something to think about. That was the overall energy for the week of February the 14th to the 20th. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now going into the very first star sign, which is Aquarius. Let's have a look what we got for Aquarians <clears throat> this very week. Aquarians, you have the spirit of wisdom and the dancer of promise. In short, what the guides are saying to you is because apparently we're going through changes and transitions, this is the week for you to actually 
trust your intuition. If you're looking for where you're going, if you're looking for answers, what the guides are saying is these answers are already within, which is your spirit of wisdom. And then the dancer of promise. Dancing in some cases could mean, you know, pussyfooting. I'm not quite sure if there's enough movement to make, to make any changes worthwhile. And all they're saying is make sure that you understand that when people promise you the earth or the world, um, it might, <laughs> sounds wrong, just be a ploy to, to get you wherever it is they want you to be. That doesn't mean they're all bad, right? Um, but it sounds, at this point in time, um, could be too good to be true, could be a lot of, oh yeah, you're so awesome, la 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 la. Always reflect on what your soul tells you. Really, really important. Trust your intuition, Aquarians. Trust your intuition. Okay, okay. there was Aquarians going into the star sign that will uh, be prominent from the beginning of next week as we are moving into Pisces. Last day of this week, the 20th, we will be in Pisces. So, I'm a Piscean, so let's have a look what we got <coughs> for my star sign, right? Here is Pisceans, here is Pisces for the week of February the 14th to the 20th. Interesting. We have the crocodile and the panther. The crocodile is saying, again, there's a lot of judgment here. Not everybody will understand you. Not everybody will see your worth because the crocodile, um, you know, the, the most ratings the crocodile gets is when they can film it, you know, killing an animal and, you know, twisting them apart, that kind of stuff. It is, it is shown oftentimes as a ferocious beast. Now, when you look at evolution, um, lots of animals have gone through massive changes. The crocodile had no need to do that. So the crocodile is one of the few animals that literally there was no need for it to, to change. That doesn't mean they didn't evolve emotionally and, and, and intellectually and all that kind of stuff. But what that says, says to us Pisceans is we are good the way we are. We just need to allow it to be seen because the reason why the crocodile is such an important animal guide is because it has to do with the divine feminine. Uh, the crocodile is known for taking nine young crocodiles into the pouch of its mouth and bringing it to safety. So the crocodile is also about fertility, right? So the crocodile as a spirit guide <clears throat> uh, tells you all to, to look at your, um, or ask Pisceans, to look at your, your softer side understand that you came here to teach through kindness, right? And this is important because our outgoing energy here is the panther, right? And the panther is basically saying, right? You can see this here, there's different colors here, right? I'm actually a leopard hiding inside what is now known as a panther. So while a lot of people have judgments or may have judgment towards us Pisceans, right? Which seems to be a bit of a of a theme here for this week. <clears throat> whatever people say about us, whatever people insinuate about Pisceans, don't take it on because when you start to hide, right, which 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 is the the Panther's message, right? Don't hide. Um, otherwise, you lose a part of yourself. The other important thing about the Panther is that the Panther is actually um, has to do with with not only with power but also with magic so what they're saying is don't lose your magic right don't use your mojo because other people are pricks <laughs> almost said a c word right because other people are, are a bunch of la la la's right uh just here to maybe make you feel less than you are and pisceans we're not having it right okie dokie so it is interesting here because while these these messages so far have been <clears throat> serious enough, they're not meant to be low energy ones. They're just saying, look, there's people who, who have an opinion, right, to actually drag you down and, um, you know, and you just stand in, stand, stand in your strengths, okay? So, Pisceans, that was that, going into the next star sign, which is Aries. Now, Aries, remember, Aries, you are the first sign of the 12th wheel um, thing, which means you are the one that finds it difficult at times to ask for help and guidance because normally there's nothing before Aries. So a lot of people will be drawn to you and you will very likely be a person being an Aries <clears throat> that oftentimes literally <laughs> um, attracts very needy people, right? So 
You have the shame and the foresight and the spirit of truth. So the shame and the foresight means that whatever it is you're going through right now, Aries, you have known for quite some time what's what, right? So what they're saying to you is you shouldn't be surprised uh, because you have already sussed out what is and what isn't working in your life. And the spirit of truth literally says, speak up, right? Don't give second, third and fourth chances, right? Um, don't drag yourself to a job that you actually don't like uh, because it pays the bills, right? There will be something else out there that fulfills you more, right? Um, and that's really the message that I'm getting for, for Aries is to understand that you already see things the way they really are. And the guides are saying to you, right, why, why, why stay where you feel you're not welcome, right? Because would you advise your best friend to be in your situation? If the answer is not, not, not exactly, then you have your answer already, right? So they're asking you, Aries, to um, literally trust that if you feel changes have to be made, the universe will look after you, okay? That was Aries. <clears throat> Going to the next star sign, um, which is... Taurus. Let's have a look what we got for Taurians. Scarab and the Raven. So, Taurians. Right? Remember the overall energy was to um, do things a little bit slower, you know, um, understand, you know, how how much stamina you have and, 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 and look at your self-worth. Right? Because you have the Scarab. And the Scarab is about regeneration. And so what they're saying to you, because as, as a dung beetle, if that makes sense, this scarab is revered in, e revered in Egypt because this scarab can lie dormant for quite some time. And only when the soil is really good, does he spring back to life. So what they're saying is, if you feel this week, whatever is going on here really doesn't raise my vibrations, doesn't make me super happy, maybe it's time to change that. Which brings us to the next animal guide, which is the raven. And the raven is about magic, but also about illumination. So this is the week where they ask you to just step back a little, right? Just step back a, a, a tiny bit and reflect on what it is you actually see, right? And understand that when you look at it for what it is, a lot of answers will literally stare you in the face, okay? Torians, that was you. That was that. <clears throat> Going into the sign of the twin, Gemini. Here we go. Let's have a look what we got for Gemini. We're looking at the week of February the 14th to the 20th, <clears throat> February 2022. Gemini's. You have the Hunter of Abundance, uh, sorry, of Abundance, and you have the Companion. So, the Hunter of Abundance means that what you're looking for this very week is, this is just the way they give it to me, is someone to hold you or some situation where you feel, I, I, I wish I wasn't that isolated in it all. <clears throat> so remember, these are general readings. They might not resonate with all of you, right? <clears throat> but for those of you that this resonates with, what the guides are saying is you are on the lookout for something and the universe is actually sending you a companion. You might already have that friend and that companion, right? And maybe he or she needs, um, you know, a little push and say like pay attention to how I'm feeling if that makes sense when you have the companion in the sign of Gemini it is important to remember that Gemini is the sign of the twins and therefore when you feel you have no support you feel isolated quite quite a bit and sometimes when you don't quite know where you're going you feel there's nobody that you can ask if that makes sense right so um gemini can be you can be your own worst enemy and yet what the guides are saying is why you are looking for that abundance of of being loved being appreciated right um make sure you reach out and don't go things alone right that in short is what we got for you that was gemini going to the sign of cancer let's have a look what we got for cancerians you are watching thomas's tarot page please like subscribe and share. Here we go. Cancerians. You have the ferret and the grey wolf. <clears throat> Excuse me. What the guides are saying to you is look at how your intellect works this week. Whatever comes your way, try not to get defensive. Right? Try not to feel 
People say something, so I say something back, so they can say something back, if that makes sense, right? Pay attention to actually who is engaged with you in conversation rather than who is trying to overpower you in conversations. This is all about conversations here at this point in time. And all the guys are saying is uh, to you, remember, and it sounds weird, but it's just the way they give it to me, you are better than a lot of the stuff that you are dealing with, right? And that's why you have the grey wolf as the... The, 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 the second animal guide here and the outgoing animal guide, what they're saying to you is maybe it is time to reflect on who is in your life, what situations are in your life, and then only literally take the ones that make sense to you and continue them. So there's change in the air for Cancerians, right? So Cancer, you are uh, governed by, by Venus. Right? So there is, uh, because Venus is the only planet that moves differently, um, and because it moves clockwise, um, what you're looking for is harmony. And um, so you're, you are really easily unhinged and easily, um, ups easily upset um, by things. And if someone says something, even if they think it was funny, you will have issues letting it go. Right? Which is why the guides are saying is, <clears throat> remember who you are, Pay attention to who drains your energy, right? And then lead your own pack. Okay? Cancerians, that was that going to the next star sign. Leo, the only star sign governed by the mighty sun. Here we go. Leo. <clears throat> Quite interesting that Leo is actually, um, and I don't really know why, I just know that it, it keeps coming up every time I look at Leos um, and, and, and read about Leos and, you know, is that um, Leos are actually somehow associated with dandelions. Right? So if you're looking for, for a plant to give you extra energy this week, why not choose a dandelion? The other thing that's important when you look at, at how Leo got its name um, in astrology from the, from the, from the ancient Greek, um, literally the idea was that the, the mane of the Leo, of the lion, was impenetrable and nobody could therefore um, attack or kill the lion, if that makes sense. So while the lion already is, is, is a formidable animal, uh, also a very social one, <clears throat> what the guides are saying is you're super protected, right? And then you have the energy of the sun, right? Without the sun, none of us would be here. So what they're saying to you is just remember your, 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 your power. And here's the cards that the guides gave us for Leos. You have the ancestor of protection and the hunter of honor. So what they're saying is, right, remember your strengths. And you already are protected, right? So the universe has got your back um, for in, in many, many ways. Uh, but you also have the hunter of honor, which means that this will be a week. And that seems to be um, a bit of a theme because if you have, unless you have skipped and just find your <clears throat> and found your own star sign because they're time stamped, if you have watched what came before you, you will have noticed that uh, a lot of these uh, signs before Leo. Um, we're all asked to pay attention to understanding um, that you're that you're better than the judgment that comes your way. And the hunter of honor is the same concept where they're saying is you you want to be acknowledged, you want to be not misunderstood, <clears throat> and because you're hunting it, right? Very Leo. Um, what they're saying is this might not be the week. Again, apparently it's not it's not the week for for any of us um, to have fulfilling conversations when it comes to who you truly are, how you truly tick, if that makes sense. Seems to be sort of an in-between week where we're probably just go like, well, I deal with that stuff next week, right? If that makes sense. Anything has to do with, mis with misunderstanding um, is very difficult to solve. Leos, that was you. Now we're going into the next star sign, which is Virgo. Here we go. Virgo, we're in the star sign of what is called <laughs> um, the, the maiden. Um, and Virgo, as a sign, you actually are quite a strong sign, even though once you are a little bit hurt, you stay hurt for quite some time, right? So it's difficult for you to recharge your batteries. But normally Virgos don't really give in to pressure all that much, and you have the hunter of vision. So what they're saying to you, no matter what life throws at you, right, Keep paying attention to what it is you want 
and keep going towards it because you have the hunter of vision and that means now is the time to make the changes you want to see and the outgoing energy is the ancestor of tribes so what they're saying is you will be so much stronger virgos if you're not going it alone right find your tribe reach out to people who are like-minded and maybe ask them for advice or or have them there if there's anything that is unclear to you right so don't don't be don't go it alone right okie dokie that was um virgo going into libra here we go well libra <laughs> as you know um yeah where was i here we go <laughs> Did I say to Cancer that you're governed by Venus? That's wrong. You're governed by the Moon. Right. Anyway, it's too late now. I don't know why that came in. <coughs> in any case, where we are, where are we? We are in Libra. <laughs> uh, Libra and Taurus are governed by Venus. I don't know why this came in with Cancer. Um, if you're still watching, Cancerians, if that came in, while, while Venus is not your governing planet, the messages were still for Cancerians, right? My apologies, now we're going into Libra. You have the dancer of life and you have the ancestor of boundaries. Now, Libra and Taurus, you are the only signs governed by Venus. And here, as a depiction, you have the, the bull, which is the other sign who has that extra alignment, if that makes sense, right? So, what they're saying to you, you have the dancer of life and the ancestor of boundaries. This week is really important for Libras to override that feeling of, wow, there's a lot of judgment coming in and I can't do anything about it. You are the, the sign that is asked to kick ass, <laughs> right? Do something with it because you have the dancer of life. You want to make things happen, make them happen, which is why you have the bull. And the bull is saying, I help you. But within it all, the first step is for Libras to actually have boundaries make sure that the people who are ob <laughs> obnoxious <clears throat> if that makes sense um stay out of your energy okie dokie that was libra going into the next star sign which is scorpio here we go okay okay but before we do anything else we're in scorpio now and all of a sudden my guides speak english to me with a Mexican slash Spanish accent and I have no idea what this is about, right? So, don't know. So, should you watch from Mexico or are with a Mexican or, you know, it is Spanish speaking in the background here, um, but it is definitely, um, definitely has to do uh, with Mexico for some of you, if that makes sense. Ultimately, let's go to Scorpio. You have the bull and the insect. The bull seems to be showing up quite a bit. And the bull, like I already said, uh, for the for for the star sign before you, which was Libra, you have the bull, and the bull is about growth and about strength. So what they're saying to you this week, right? Make sure hmm, it's just the way they give it to me to push back, right? Make sure to not take or give in to the pressure other people give you give you because the outgoing energy that you have is the insect. And the insect literally says, without me, nothing else would be here, right? So the insect is saying to you, remember how important you are in the scheme of things, right? So be important. Show that you are important. Tell people off. Tell people you don't want to be treated and you will not be treated that, certain, that, that way, right? And that seems to be all you need to do uh, uh, this week for Scorpio, but it is easier said than done because Scorpio, obviously, you know that the scorpion, um, the, 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 the larger the scorpion, the less venom he needs. So all they're saying to you is speak up. You rather be loud, but you do less damage, right? Then to wait because you, if you wait and wait and wait and wait, and then it gets too much and then you explode, there might be casualties energetically speaking, right? So what they're saying is don't wait. The moment something is off, make sure you say it. Okie dokie, that was Scorpio. Now we have Sagittarius and Capricorn left. You're, you're watching Thomas's tarot page. Um, please like, subscribe and share. Um, and now we're looking at Sagittarius. Okay, so as we already said, energetically speaking, this week is all about 
timing, pacing ourselves and, and a lot of judgment coming in. Sagittarians by default can be a bit of a judged um, sign uh, because there is already conflict in just who you are as a sign. You are depicted as the archer, right? Um, and most people would see you as the archer when the origins of Sagittarius is actually a centaur, which is half human, half horse. Now, when the ancient Greeks said you're a hybrid, right? Or they would even say you're a half breed. They were literally stating facts. There was no judgment in it, right? So this is about this is about judgments this week, as you know, for, for all the star signs. What they're saying to you, here's what they're saying to you, Sagittarians. Whatever comes your way, you have the heron. The heron is just a bird that stands in the water on one leg all day. Whenever the fish comes, he goes like, thank you. While the message to many star signs here was to take no crap, <laughs> what they're saying to you is ignore. Ignore other people's opinions because that's all they are. And the reason why you can afford not to fight back, if that makes sense, is because the heron here is, is called an animal deity, but you, you have all animal deities. So you have the plural of all animal deities. What the guides are saying to you is, you know, once you know who you are, you know, you don't have to defend yourself. Okay, and there's not all that much people can do when you actually, uh, you know, go into your strengths. It will bring out maybe the worst in them, but it shows you at least their true colors. All the guides are saying is this week, whatever people have to say, don't pay attention, fish will come, which means no opportunities will come when you no longer respond uh, to whatever crap uh, people throw at you. Okie dokie, that was Sagittarius, going to the final star sign for the week of February the 14th to the 20th. Now remember, on the 20th, the last day of this week, we will be moving into the star sign and into the energy of Pisces, right? Which is really, really powerful. Um, are you ready? So let's have a look at, at, at Capricorns. Here we go. Right. <laughs> yeah, Capricorns, you have the ancestor of memory and the shaman of loss. Now, sounds much harsher than they mean it. You have the ancestor of memory, the shaman of loss. What they're saying to you this week, this is a very good week. And also because we have the full moon on the 16th, which amplifies emotions, right? Because the moon is all about our emotions. And you have the ancestor of memory and the shaman of loss. This week, for the star sign of Capricorn, it is very likely that the guides are trying to confront you with pain that still sits inside you that no longer serves you, right? And it will very likely be about someone who was very close to you, if that makes sense. It doesn't have to be a family member, but, but this is the whole point. Um, someone that was close to you is much harder to let go, and that's exactly what they're asking you to, to, to realize. The person that has passed is on what we call the other side. And, you know, when you meet them there, they're fine. The last thing they want is for you to be unhappy and grieve, right? That's not what happens once you have made the transition from this world to the next, okay? And all the guides are saying to you is there will be memories coming up, right? About about your life, if that makes sense. And uh, all of a sudden you will miss someone <coughs> badly. And um, this loss will trigger emotions, right? Which makes a lot of sense because of the full moon on the 16th. And all they're saying is, Capricorns, you are that sign that will be super affected by the memory of someone you have lost. Now remember, these are general readings. They may not resonate with all of you, right? But I'm sure this is how the universe works. Whoever needs to find this will find this, right? And if you are a person that probably thinks like, I haven't lost anyone, but I genuinely feel shit, <laughs> right? And it's because of a situation that has, that, is long, that has long been gone but hasn't been released, then that applies to that situation too. Okie dokie. Guys, that's all we have. That's all we have time for. I apologize to Cancer. I have no idea why, why um, the whole Venus thing came in. 
Um, and I think it came in because there's only three star signs that have a special alignment with the universe. And they are Cancerians because you are governed by the moon, uh, Libra and Taurus who are governed by Venus, and there is an extra um, alignment for just these signs. I don't know. Anyway, I have to say this again for Cancerians, if you're still watching, um, the message about you wanting harmony, even though I made it about Venus because that just came into my mind, right? Um, still applies because otherwise, if that would have been the wrong message, the guides would have told me that this is the wrong message. And they didn't. They're just saying is, you know, make clear that, um, you know, Cancerians know, right? That you're just an idiot and you can't even do this right. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, guys, that's all we have time for. Please like, subscribe and share. And I see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.